Today we're going to go over a few features on the Cisco SG250 switch. There is a part 1 to this video, so make sure you watch it to get familiar with the previous features AV Network Guy covered. This will also be my last video on the channel, anyway let's dive in. Let's continue and go over the search function. Now, to access the search function, enter a keyword and click on the magnifying glass icon. The search result for a keyword includes links to the relevant GUI pages, and also links to the relevant help pages. 50% of part 1 of this video covers the system summary option, so make sure you watch part 1, because that page contains a lot of good information about the switch. Enough about the system summary, let's go over the CPU utilization page. To display CPU utilization, do the following step 1. Click status and statistics then select CPU utilization in the submenu. Step 2. Check enable to enable the CPU utilization. Step 3. Select the refresh rate time period in seconds. That passes before the statistics are refreshed. Make sure you click on apply. Let's walk through the process of displaying port utilization on the switch. Step 1. Start by navigating to the Status and Statistics section. Then select Port Utilization. Step 2. You'll need to specify the refresh rate, which determines how often the Ethernet statistics are updated. Once you've completed these steps, you'll see several fields for each port. The first field called Interface displays the name and port number. The second field. Transmit utilization shows the amount of bandwidth used by outgoing packets. And the last field, receive utilization shows the amount of bandwidth used by incoming packets. This page is a powerful tool for analyzing the amount of traffic that is both sent and received, as well as its dispersion into unicast, multicast, and broadcast. Let's dive right in and learn how to use this feature effectively. Step 1. Accessing the Interface page to begin, click on the Status and Statistics tab, then select Interface to access the Interface page. Step 2. Viewing statistics in table or graphic view on the Interface page. You have the option to view statistics in either table or graphic view. To clear all counters, simply click on Clear Interface Counters. To refresh the counters, click on Refresh. To see all ports in table view, click on View All Interfaces Statistics. For a graphical representation of the statistics, click on View Interface History Graph. Step 3. Selecting Parameters and Refreshing Rates. Once you have selected your preferred view, you can further customize your experience by selecting the interface for which you want to view Ethernet statistics. Additionally, you can set the refresh rate to your desired time period. Now you can easily analyze and understand the traffic statistics per port on your switch, giving you valuable insights into the performance of your network. And that's it. I'm going to skip some of the more advanced features from this category and jump to a few other key sections like the health and power page. The health and power page monitors the temperature, power supply, and fan status on all relevant devices. The fans on the device vary based on the model. To view the settings on the health and power page, navigate to status and statistics then select health and power. Under environmental status, we can see the fan status, the sensor status, and the temperature status. Under main power status, we can see the main power supply status. Power saving displays, the current amount of the power savings on all the ports, the accumulative amount of the power savings on all the ports since the device was powered up, the projection of the amount of the power that will be saved on the device during one week. This value is calculated based on the savings that occurred during the previous week. The current amount of the PoE power saved on ports that have powered devices connected to them and on which power over Ethernet is not operational. Next is the cumulative amount of the PoE power since the device was powered up and last is the yearly projected amount of PoE power since the switch was powered up, saved on ports that have power devices connected to them and PoE is not operational. The optical module status page displays the operating conditions reported by the SFP, also known as small form factor pluggable transceiver. To view the results of optical tests, click status and statistics, select the diagnostics category, and select the optical module status option. 
This page displays the port number on which the SFP is connected, the description and serial number along with the product ID, version ID, temperature, voltage, current, output and input power, transmitter fault, loss of signal, and data readiness of the optical transceiver. You're on your own with this one, good luck, moving on! Let's start by understanding what the RAM memory page does. This page displays all messages that are saved in the RAM cache in chronological order. All entries are stored in the RAM log file. The RAM memory page also notifies you of new system log messages. When a new syslog message is written to the RAM log file, a notification pops up on the web GUI. The web GUI pulls the RAM log every 10 seconds for new notifications. If more than seven pop-up notifications are displayed, a summary pop-up appears, showing how many notifications aren't shown. It also contains a button to close all pop-ups. To view the log entries, click on Status and Statistics on the left menu. Under the View Log category, select RAM Memory. Here, you'll see the following. Alert icon blinking button toggles between Disable and Enable. It's enabled by default. The pop-up syslog notifications button enables or disables receiving pop-up system logs, and current logging threshold specifies the levels of logging that are generated. Click on Edit to update the threshold. The RAM memory table below contains the log index, time, severity, and description. To clear the log messages, click on the Clear Logs button located towards the bottom of the page. That's all we're covering in this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you found value in this video. Thanks for watching.